Hello guys, this is Jack from Foxtech. And today I'm going to show you our newly designed Vito. This is the AYK320. The AYK320, comparing to other Vitos and other planes, it's like a Lamborghini comparing to other cars. It's a masterpiece and it's like a piece of art. And the, the whole design is adopting the aerodynamic design and then uh, the every part of it can be quickly detached and uh, reattached for easy transportation. Well, you may worry about the, the flying time of a VTOL. Let me tell you, the AYK320 has a very great flying time, up to 4 hours with a very light payload and 3 hours with 2.5 kilograms payload, which is truly, truly nice. Okay, let's go over its all great features one by one. Then first, let's see this is a typical 4 plus 1 VTOL. What is the 4 plus 1? It's actually uh, 4 lifting motors and then 1 pushing motors. Well, for better uh, control of the vibration, actually we use the, all the carbon fiber propellers, so well-tuned carbon fiber propellers, and also motors with a self-heating system to give it the best efficiency and the reliability. Well, another great feature I truly love about the AYK320 is actually it has the redundant airspeed sensing system. Well, let's see, it has the one airspeed sensor which has the DLVR uh, system. In, inside, the DLVR system is actually the best system, the best system for airspeed sensing that can filter the shakes and the vibrations and temperatures in the best way. And then, as a redundant, we have the CUAV Sky -E digital sensor uh, on the top. And uh, this is uh, actually, actually a redundant and uh, it has an inner integrated heating system and uh, making it uh, very strong to temperature change or to the humidity change because it has an inner heating system. So no freezing problem and uh, no data errors. Well, uh, why I say this is the masterpiece? Because on the AYK320, all the ESCs has a telemetry. Well, with the telemetry system, we can read the, all the real-time monitoring the voltage of ESC, the current of motors, RPM, and also temperature of ESC. So we can know the real flying status of this plane and uh, know uh, the working conditions, then giving it better uh, working stability. Uh, so uh, you may say, well, you can fly three hours, four hours. How long I can fly? I can tell you. On this VTOL, we equipped it with the P8 radio and data link system. It has a range up to 60 kilometers. And uh, also the frequency is 840 to 845. And uh, also the power supply adopts the wide voltage input from the 3S to 12S. Okay, say. So the whole plane is so nice. It has the wingspan of 3.2 meters and also the total length is around 2 meters. But don't worry, you can see we have the quick lock here. So we can remove the tail, we can remove the wing, the lifting motor arm, and yeah, this is uh, so much about it. So we can detach these things and uh, put in in this packing box which is not, not really, not, not giant, it's just a small box. Okay, so let's see. Uh, also, this is uh, really, I can say this is a heavy one. This is a heavy one. The total flying weight is up to 24 kilograms and also no payload weight is uh, 21.5. So you are not going to lift it up and turn into circles to the compass calibration. And uh, I save your time and save your strength. We use the, the dual GPS differential system on this plane. So no GPS calibration is ne necessary. You just uh, put it on the ground uh, in open field and uh, it can know which direction it's heading to by itself. Well, let's check 
it also has a good clearance from the ground, from its belly. And then we can load a gimbal and camera really big time, and then the all your necessary equipment under its belly. Then it has the very massive payload cabin just beneath its center of gravity here. So actually in that case, you can load all the payload you need and doesn't affect the center of gravity. You don't need to adjust it very much. And also you can uh, change your payload cabin and uh, in a very easy way because we all use the quick uh, lock on the every part of the plane. And talking about aerodynamic design, and this plane, every inch of it is using, is adopting the theory of aerodynamic. Let's see, it has, um, it looks bended. It looks bended. It has a, a bended uh, lifting arm for the lifting motors, but actually it is uh, purely straight in the eye of airflow. So less air drag. Tailwing is also using the up turn uh, angle is also a result of aerodynamic design. So this plane has a very beautiful appearance, a very small vibration, very good reliability and a very low air drag. That's why it is a Lamborghini compared to other planes. Also for the full wire and also the software, we actually adopt the latest notch filtering technology. And this technology can make it filter out all the vibrations, the shakes and noises coming from ESC or motors coming from the plane. And then can give you a better effect of a PID tuning. So, and uh, this is a very, very good design. Okay guys, I just did a very brief introduction about our newly designed plane. This is AYK320. This is actually a very nice, very nice vehicle. A very beautiful, very long flying time and a very good payload ability. I hope you like it. And also if you like this plane and other of our equipment, you can go to our website, which is the foxtechfp.com. And also you are welcome to see our all social medias, including the Twitter, Facebook, and the YouTube. I hope you love them and see you in the next video.